Hi and welcome game dev and Blender fans. This is a new tutorial about Blender and this time about the curve modifier because there was a request, again, thank you guys, if I could do a tutorial about creating a kind of tube. And here we go. So let's think about how a tube can be built with primitives, what are the basic primitives of a cube and I would say it's again a cylinder. So let's add a cylinder object and after that we will add a curve. So we have these two objects now, a curve and a cylinder and my goal is to align that cylinder along this curve. But one cylinder doesn't make a tube, right? So we have to add an array modifier to create several instances of this cylinder. Okay, that's great. That seems to work. But think about a tube. We don't need this faces here. On the top and on the bottom of the cylinder. So let's remove it. Like that. Great, and don't forget to check the merge option when creating these instances. When you increase the count of the array modifier, then all instances of this model will be merged together. Okay, but we want to align the cylinders along the curve, so let's add a curve modifier and choose the deformation axis Z. And when you increase the count of the cylinders now, then you can see that they line up perfectly to our curve. Now let's extend this curve a little bit. Select one point in this curve, in edit mode, press G and move this point. And press E key to extract new points of this curve. The same method as you would do for any other model. And you can see that in this way we are able to build a tube. Okay, now the curve is longer than the array of cylinders, so let's just select the cylinder and increase the count. Just like that. Let's choose smooth shading and this also looks really cool, right? So let's add some details to this curve. Add some more parts or move them around as you like. Once you have this setup ready, it's really fun to play around with this and also pretty easy. But I want to extend the single parts of this tube a little bit, so I switch to edit mode and then we have the possibility to change the, the basic cylinder of this tube, switch to edge selection and insert some edge loops. I just want to insert some bevels and uh, inserts to this cylinder to make it look a little bit more interesting. The array modifier is really amazing, an absolutely powerful feature. You can see this here when I change the basic model of this array, that these changes are applied to all instances accordingly. A 
get some more edge loops. But I think this looks pretty cool. Now switch back to object mode and as you switch back you can see that all cylinder parts will be aligned to the curve again. Okay, next step. Let's add a material. A material for the tube. This should be a little bit glossy, but also contain roughness. So first let's change to Cycles Renderer. Choose Use Nodes for the material and I think we will add a mix shader for this. So that we can combine a glossy one and a diffuse. Let's choose a darker color. Let's see in rendered preview. Yeah, this already looks really good. Okay, I think we can keep this. Okay, and now I want to add um, some steel or metal connectors or plugs or whatever this is called. I really don't know the word. So we have again to add a cylinder. Now rotate it 90 degrees and align it here to the ends or to the one end of the tube. Okay, that's not too interesting. I think I will speed up the video a little bit and let you listen to some music. Okay, great. Now select every object here, also the curve, and let's move this object a little bit up. And now we will add planes and create a kind of small room here and model a very simple scene for a nice rendering. Scale this up, this will be the floor and add a new material to this, a diffuse one this time, and wall and floor will have the same material. Okay, but let's speed up again a little bit, because I really have the feeling that you want to know how this Mozart piano sonata, actually without piano, will continue, right? we are ready to do a first render preview with just 
think uh, 32 random passes. Now I add a new point light with a slightly red color and the sunlight will be perhaps a little bit yellowish. Yeah, just like that. This could look really nice. For my rendering I always disable these caustics here because I always get artifacts. Okay, let's do another fast render preview with 24 samples. And after that I will change this to 400 samples and we do a full rendering. But you don't have to watch this till the end. Here I enable GPU because my GPU is faster than my CPU. Here it is, the device. Okay, one preview again. And then, yeah, that's faster. And now I choose 400 samples. And I will stop this video now and let it render and after that I will present you the rendered image. So I really hope you like this tutorial. So please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and if you could afford it, please support me on my Patreon. I will upload the whole Blender project here to my Patreon account and if you are my Patreon you can download it from there. So again, thanks a lot for watching and see you soon here on my channel.